it looks like the FCC is actually going to do something good for the ham radio community. Stay tuned. There's some big news coming up in this video. Like I said in the intro, there's some big news coming from the FCC. It looks like that the symbol rate will soon be removed on the HF bands. Now, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and read through the news story that the ARL just put out. So according to their news story here, it looks like that there is a scheduled vote by the FCC to consider removing the symbol rate restrictions uh, for digital modes within the ham radio spectrum. Uh, in the current draft in the draft commission decision, it looks like the FCC would replace the current HF restrictions with a 2.8 kilohertz bandwidth limit instead of a symbol rate limit. It also states that the commission also announced that it will consider a further notice in which it will propose eliminating similar restrictions where they apply in other bands and consider relying on signal bandwidth limits. If both actions are adopted by the commission, there will be a period for public comment on the further, on the further notice issues. So further down in the article, there is a quote from the FCC chairwoman, Jessica Rosenworcel, and she says, quote, we're bolstering am amateur radio. We will vote on a proposal to incentivize innovation and experimentation in the amateur radio bands by removing outdated restrictions and providing licenses with the flexibility to use modern digital emissions. Now, the FCC didn't just come about this all by themselves. They were pretty well being forced to do this because down here at the bottom... This is really who you need to thank, and that's Congresswoman Debbie Lesko from Arizona. She introduced the Amateur Radio Communications Improvement Act to require the FCC to eliminate these obsolete symbol rates for digital modes within ham radio. The ARRL is, has also been backing her on this act, and it looks like it's paying off because we may just be able to have a little more fun with digital modes by not being limited by a symbol rate and just the 2.8 kilohertz bandwidth limit. Um, one other thing that is mentioned in this article from the ARRL Director of Emergency Management, Josh Johnston, uh, KE5MHV, uh, he says that the changes will, will result in a tremendous time savings during disasters when every second counts. And he says, we will be very pleased to have the FCC remove the restrictions on symbol rate for the amateur bands. This will eliminate the need for temporary waivers during an event and provide the ability to train and exercise using the higher symbol rate, allowing increased data capability to our served agencies and partners. And he's right. Right now, anytime there's a disaster, the FCC already just goes, goes ahead and issues a waiver on the symbol rate limit for the emergency. Why not just lift the symbol rate and go with a 2.8 kilohertz bandwidth limit? Nobody knows why they haven't done it. They just don't want to. And now it's being brought to light by multiple people like Congresswoman Debbie Lesko, uh, the ARRL, and they're starting to get some pressure. So it looks like they're going to voluntarily adopt this. But one thing that seems to be missing in this article is a date. So I did a little digging and on the FCC's website for the next open commission meeting, they have kind of an overview of what they're going to be discussing. And this meeting is on November 15th, 2023. So it's coming up in just a matter of weeks. And as I'm scrolling down here, let's go over the items that are 
tentatively on the agenda for the November meeting. They've got preventing digital discrimination, uh, which seems to be access to broadband internet access, uh, some other empowering survivors of domestic violence, uh, artificial intelligence stuff uh, about robocalls and robotext, protecting consumers from SIM swapping, and port out fraud. Here's what we want right here. Amending amateur radio rules for greater flexibility and data communications. And it says here, the commission will consider a report and order and further notice of proposed rulemaking that would eliminate the symbol rate known as the baud rate limitation and establish a bandwidth limitation that would pro provide flexibility to use modern digital emissions, thereby promoting innovation and experimentation in the amateur service. This item would also propose the removal of the baud rate limitation in several additional bands. So there you go. Coming up on November 15th is when they're voting on this. And I'm really hoping this actually does pass and they do amend the rules because it would be awesome to see digital modes and more digital experimentation on ham radio and on all the rest of the bands. We're on the cusp of having tons of digital modes come about with extremely fast data transfer rates. Yes, we're gonna be limited to 2.8 kilohertz, but you can move quite a bit of data uh, in 2.8 kilohertz. Looks like uh, they've also got some uh, enforcement, three different enforcement actions that are coming up also in this meeting. So looks like they're slapping some people with fines. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye out and see what that ends up being. Down here at the bottom of the page, this tentative agenda will take you to another page and it lists all the documents, or if you just want the one document, of what we're talking about in this video. It's this one here, this amending amateur radio rules for flexibility in data communications. It'll take you to a new page. And if you wanna go ahead and read the whole legalese filled draft, go ahead and click on this PDF and open it and go ahead and read it. It's quite a few pages and it's in a lot of language that I don't completely understand. The meeting is scheduled and it's on the agenda for November 15th, coming up here in a couple weeks. And we shall see if the symbol rate actually does go away and we just get a bandwidth limitation. I'm hoping we just get the bandwidth limitation of 2.8 kilohertz because I want better data modes on ham radio. If you disagree with me, Tell me why down in the comments. I'm kind of curious as to know why. And no, I don't think this is going to mess with CW all that much. There's plenty of room for people to use CW and most people are using data, data modes well above where everybody's doing CW. So that is my opinion. But if you have a differing one, like I said, drop it down in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and leave links to both of these websites down in the description below. If you want more content like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, 73.